What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video and update on Stellar, excuse me, or XLM, uh, which I haven't covered for like three days I think, but uh, because most people, like the volume was dropping down and a lot of people were not trading it anymore. I, I was trading it, I was still in a in a trade until yesterday, but right now I mean you can you can check out the volume, it's still quite high, but it's um, it has dropped down quite severely. Uh, from the levels we were at last week, from our for, from our tops at least, it's it's down like forty percent, I believe. Um, so I wanted to do an update. I mean, we've been very very bearish, which was expected if you watched my XLM videos. Um, then uh, the, the moves like these were expected, and in our uh, premium trading group, we also went short from this area around fifteen point two, uh, because especially the moment we we broke that level. Like the EMAs turned to resistance, we had a ma major bearish breakout, which is bearish confirmation as well. Um, so from there, the bearish momentum really started. Before that, we were still, you know, kind of in in, in the middle. Uh, so from there, the bearish momentum started, got another bearish breakout through 14.6 cents. And from there, we, we just kept dropping down. And now the big question is, is will we actually stop? Because we are at a major support level, around 13.5 cents, where we have the 0 0.618 FIB and the 200 EMA. Uh, but we have already spiked down below that level and we're not getting a lot of support from it. So we'll talk about that. I'll, I'll give you my thoughts and, uh, and in general my analysis. But before we do so, uh, I do want to mention that I have uh, my own premium trading group in which I post my own trades, like the XLM trades. There's an exclusive group of, of traders, a community, uh, and you gain access to my trading guide. So if you want to become a better and more profitable trader, check that out. But for now, on to XLM. So, uh, all right. So purely technically, you would say that we're going to get support from this area. All right. So uh, from this area, what I then mean is 13 and a half cents. Like technically, it's one of the strongest areas uh, on the screen right now. So I would expect us to get support there. The, the only problem is that there's a lot of bearish momentum in, in, in the markets and I do still expect Bitcoin to drop down lower. And I'm just not sure if XLM is going to be able to, to hold that level until that period of time, because you should know that if this level breaks, so if we drop down below 13 and a half cents, so that's 0 0.1350, if we drop down below that, that's a major bearish breakout. And then we'll just drop back down all the way to 12 and a half cents from which you have no guarantee that that will be bullish from there uh, because then like then we have broken below the 200 EMA and then we are really, really bearish. Um, so yeah, for now, I'm going to have to be objective and that is just uh, trust my analysis or trust my analysis skills that this is a strong level. Uh, and even though Bitcoin is very bearish and it's the weekend uh, and in which the weekend we react less to the 200 EMA and, and the 0 0.618 FIP. They're trending indicators and uh, in the weekend you lose volume, so you lose trend. But I would say we will be able to get some support from here up to like 14, 14.2 14 cents. But I do think that overall this bearish, uh, that this downtrend and this bearish market structure will stick. And that at some point of time will drop down below 13 and a half cents and drop down towards 12 and a half cents. And to be fair, I just said this is the most likely scenario, but but I just in general I expect that bearish breakout uh, down below thirteen and a half cents and down towards twelve and a half cents. And sure, we could get some bullish momentum from here. Um, I would expect us to get bullish momentum from here, but overall, I, I don't think it's worth it to to buy XLM right now uh, unless Bitcoin gets gets a lot of bullish momentum all of a sudden, which is uh, not to be expected. But yeah, that's my take on XLM, my update. So if you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.